He shouldn't have to deal with this just to get his education. Parents and students voice concern and frustration after this morning's fight at Chalmette High in which a school resource officer used his taser on a student. Deputies also arrested eight students. Good evening, I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Meg Gatto. The St. Bernard Sheriff's Office investigates the fight and whether resource officers followed proper protocol protocols. Sabrina Wilson has new reaction from students, parents, and the school system's leader. A fight captured on video at Chalmette High School and later posted on social media, leaving other students shaken. I personally hope I can graduate, but with everything that's been going on down here and this school specifically, I'm not sure if I can. You got people getting trampled. It happened shortly before 11 a.m. The video shows a school staffer trying to protect a student on the floor. We spoke to student Bruce Hills Jr. with his mother's permission. He says this is not what he comes to school for. I wouldn't be right here talking to news people if they had just stopped. Can we, I just want to go to class. I am not trying to get trampled on. His mother echoed that. I mean, we worry about him every day coming to school. What's going to happen? We never know what's going to happen. Other parents pulled their kids out of school early too and want to remove them from the campus permanently. Absolutely. My daughter just texted me right now, just a little while ago, saying that she feels unsafe. She is unsafe at this school. She said that every day there is fights. The mayhem left parent Jesse Wade in tears. I am. I really am. He shouldn't have to deal with this just to get his education. He's only in 10th grade. He shouldn't have to deal with this. I want to pull him out. The teachers and staff were first there with our school resource officer to break up the fight. Um, all of the procedures worked as planned with our staff. St. Bernard Parish Superintendent Doris Voche saw the videos on social media. What they show is we have a small group of students who can't seem to settle any conflict without resorting to fights. And when that occurs, what I did see was our faculty and staff try to separate the students, the school resource officers and law enforcement there as well, and that was finally dispersed. At some point, a student was tased by a resource officer. A student was tased, yes. And, and does that fall, fall under the policies um, for a school resource officer? Um, in the protocols with the sheriff's department, it falls within the protocols if the student, if the school resource officer feels that he cannot stop students from injuring other students. So that will be, I've spoken with our sheriff and they are looking at that to see if the proper procedures were followed by the resource officers. Two teachers received minor injuries according to the sheriff's office as for complaints about other fights at the school. I don't say that they're common at the school. I do say we do have a small group of students who seem to feel that that's the only way they can settle conflict. The vast majority of the student body of the school never engage in a fight. And Voche says the school has two permanent resource officers and usually two others are there. And she says the school has 11 counselors and they go through conflict resolution on whether the arrested students will be expelled. She said they'll go through due process procedures and look at all the videos, speak to students. And then she says consequences will follow what actions students took. Lee.